In today's video, we're gonna talk about three things. First of all, how do you qu clean the wheels? And what I mean by that is, how do you get inside the rim? How are you gonna get inside the rim? I'm gonna show you that. Secondly, how do you clean the inside of your windshield? Your windshield. <laughs> how do you clean your back window from the inside? That's kind of difficult too. And the third thing I'm gonna show you has to do with getting your engine wet when you rinse off the car or wash the car. Uh, I've got a solution for you on this that you're gonna love. And I'll show you that at the very end when we get to the end of the video. So let's go. And we're gonna do this right now. I clean the whole, rinse off the whole wheel in the back, in the front. All right. And then, by the way, if you're gonna do tire dressing, I would put the tire dressing before I do all this. Dress all four tires and then come back and start your ritual here. So the first thing, I have some, I have some soap in here and water. It's car wash soap. Take this guy. And before I do any of this, I spray on my wheel cleaner. Any wheel cleaner will do. They're all, I think they're all pretty much the same. Anyway, just spray this. All right, then we do this and go as far in as you can. All right, and over the caliper. As far as you, in as you can and get it going a nice, you know, swishing back and forth. All right, nothing to it. And then I take my brush and I do the same thing to the outside of the wheel. And I go inside here, and then I go inside here, and then I go inside here, and here, <laughs> and here. Then in here, 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 here. Then I get the rims itself where the nuts are. Get in there, then go across all five of these guys. We're done. Rinse it off. Have it all four wheels done. Second thing I want to show you today is something that I found very, very interesting. It was cleaning the inside of the glass. It's always a bugger. But I got the solution. Here it is right here. This little guy right here, along with the little invisible glass, seems to work just fine. So what I do is I spray some invisible glass onto the pad. And then I go in and I work the inside of my windshield like this. And obviously I'd be sitting inside of the car when I do it. So that works great. Now you might say, what about underneath the deck here? Well, let me see, I'll show you this. Again, put some invisible glass on the pad. You can do the inside of this window here, okay? This works great. And you can also go in the corner here and do this window right here, okay, with the pad, and it'll look great. So that's three different ways you can do and use this pad. By the way, these, these are available a lot of them national chain uh, stores, you know, autom automobile supply stores and everything. Invisible glass, that's the one you want. This pad comes off, you can wash it. 
Uh, so that's good too. You usually get a couple of pads with it. So there you have it. Keeping your glass clean on the inside. So today we're going to look at a company called c8blocks.com. And c8blocks.com has a very interesting item to put on your car. See these little blocks I got right here? They're going to go right up here. And see this little round thing I have right here? This is going to go right in there. It's going to go right up in there. And see these little three blocks that are right here? All right, they're going to go right in here. So the idea is that we're going to be able to put these blocks in here and this little foam pad in the, in the bottom section here, which is open, as you can see, um, to help prevent most, if not all, of the water getting into the compartment. So what I'm going to do today is going to put these blocks in. They're very simple. I'll show you what, I, show you what I'm doing. So I grab this first one, and this goes like right in here. And what you want to do is just take a little time and make sure you get them just, just right. And this looks pretty good right here. And then push down on it, and bing, we're in. Same thing with this one. Make sure you don't have any open spaces and push down on it. Same thing, put this one in here, push down on it, and you should be ready to go. Now, the, the big thing here is don't use a power washer on this because it's gonna blow these pads, they're pretty light. You blow them right out of there. So what you, this primarily is if you're hand washing the car. So I'm going to pretend I hand wash the car today, and then I'm going to rinse it off, and then we're going to see how much water we get in the compartment. There'll be a little bit, I think, but it'll be so much less than you would normally get. But anyway, the proof is in the pudding. It's the first time I've done this, so <laughs> you're, you're experiencing it along with me. So let's see what, what happens when we uh, put some water to this. Let me fin I'm going to finish putting the other pieces on here. This slides slides right under here, under the glass, as you can see. And uh, I'll put this in in just a second. Let me get that in and the other three pads in, and then we'll throw some water on this, and then we'll wipe it off, and then uh, give it a few minutes to dry. I'll pop the trunk, and we'll look and see what we got. So we're going to rinse this off. This is if you're hand washing the car. Now, I think they'll probably be some water that'll sneak in there, I don't know, a few drops, but nothing like what normally goes in there, I don't think. Well, we're gonna find out in just a minute. So, all right, I'm gonna shut off the hose and uh, we'll drive this off on the outside. I'm gonna take my big, beautiful orange towel here. I got this from uh, Chemical Guys, this towel, and boy, does it absorb the water. I mean, I'm just lightly touching this. I'm not doing much of anything. And uh, this is coming off, pulling the water right off of here. It's pretty good, and I've only been using one side. <laughs> okay, we've let the car dry off. We took all the blocking pads off the blocks, the C8 blocks. We put them here. And by the way, if you call them, one, first things first. All of the all of the stuff I just showed you here, the one on the back of the car, is all made in America. Made in the good old USA. Very, very important. In fact, up in Indianapolis, Indiana is the, the home base for this company. And if you call Amora, who runs the company, and you're a first responder or a veteran, she'll give you a discount on these blocks. So keep that in mind. I'll put everything down below so you can call them and find out what's going on. But now, you're going to be the first, like me, to see what this looks like. So I'm going to undo the trunk. And uh, this is the big, da, 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 da. let's see what we got under here. All right, I got a couple of little drips. 
and they're right over where the window is. Uh, a couple little, little water here, and uh, I see a little water up here that gets retained in the uh, area there. But other than that, and the other thing that happens is these these uh, drains drain down somehow. The water gets in here, and then it drains down and drains down in here. And I always have to, yeah. If you look right up in here, there's a way that they drain down in here, the water gets in here, and then comes down in here. So it's simply a matter of doing a little padding, but for the most part, 99% of the time, I think I have one drop right, right there. And of course, that always gets on the, on the uh, side here. So I'm just gonna go right down here with my cloth and do the same thing back here, and the same thing here, and the same thing here. And that's, and then just down here, you gotta do that, no matter what you do, you, you gotta do this. You can't, you can't keep this dry. And the other thing I do is I don't go across the uh, top here too. And that pretty much does it. I don't have anywhere near the water. Usually I have water all over everything. I don't have anywhere near the water I, I get. So yeah, you get a little bit of water. There's a little bit of water over here too. And I'll wipe that up. But it's nowhere near the mess that I have. It's nowhere near the mess that I have when I uh, normally wash the car. There's one little spot over here too. A few little drops right here. But that's it. This is a lot easier to clean up than when uh, I would normally wash the car. It's, there's water all over the back of the windscreen. There's water all over the engine, and I don't have any water on the engine. Pretty impressive. I got one drop over here that I'll get. That's it. Pretty nice. I like it. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It really works. And uh, nice, nice job. Nice, nice job for C8 Blocks. Dot com is their website, c8blocks.com. If you're a first responder or a veteran, call Amora. There's a telephone number to call, and she'll give you a special discount. How about that? And it is American-made. Nicely done. Like them. Like them a lot.